We are off to do something fun, weird, interesting, yeah. and potentially very cool. We're headed to the National Model Car Builders Museum. Nice. Mark Gustafson, the guy that does the GSL competition every two years, the model car show, along with a bunch of other people, but he's kind of the brainchild behind it, is also the brainchild behind this museum. Nice. He's been collecting old kits and memorabilia and paraphernalia and, and built kits that people built clear back in the 60s and oh, 70s. Wow. There were really famous cars that were published in magazines and stuff. Anyway, he's put it all into this place that is the National Model Car Builders Museum, and it's now a not-for-profit, and people are donating their nice. models to it, and estates, when somebody dies, will quite often well, donate that's, that's their model thing. cars. That's a really that's cool that. thing. Instead of just standing up in a dumpster. Yeah, because uh, these cars are fairly fragile, and a lot of them are in really bad shape when the museum gets them, and then various other people are donating their time to fix these models up so that they can be properly displayed. So it's all really, really cool. So let's go check it out, the National Model Car Builders Museum. The International Model Car Builders Museum in Salt Lake City has been around for over 20 years. And the collection has become really, really cool and large. The museum is sort of a spin-off of the GSL, the Greater Salt Lake Scale Auto Championship, which is held in Salt Lake City every two years. This is the 2015 competition, and as always, the museum was open to contest participants to come over and take a look around. And there's a substantial research library on the premises. These are cool. These are 1 8th scale bucks that were used for carving 1 25th scale molds on a reduction pantograph milling machine. It's all part of the amazingly complicated system for manufacturing model kits. Okay, this is beyond interesting. This is a 1 quarter scale Chevy 283 engine. We're going to do an entire show on this in the near future, so watch for that. There's also a Hall of Fame. Let's meet Don Edmonds, the first inductee ever into the Hall of Fame several years ago. I was a consultant to AMT for 12 years on every kit, basically, that they did. A guy from AMT called was Dick Bransner, which later became Color Me Gone's original builder. And we'd like you to come back and we'd like you to talk to John Bacon. He's the owner's son and he's running the, the company now. And um, we have some ideas that we'd like to run by you. And they had said that your models are so real looking and you're hooked to West Coast hot rods. We would like to bring you on as a consultant to the R&D department and um, help us produce better and more realistic model kits. When they inducted me into as the first inductee into the Hall of Fame here, <laughs> which I think is really neat, um, I brought Parnelli's 15 Strop Mercury. So I knew Strop and I went down and I got a ton of pictures of how the cage, well, everything about the car. He let me come in whenever I wanted and take all the pictures of it and all. And I brought it back there one time and it was the body and the, 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 the interior and all and I'm ready to paint. And he goes, Don, um, leave it here and I'll have our paint shop paint it for you. Thanks for the offer of painting it, but I have four jars here. How about you give me the jars of the paint and I will paint the car. So that car has the actual paint of the car on it. And if you look in the pictures of it back there, I hand lettered all of the, every, the numbers, everything on it. Parnelli was running the Indy 500 and at that point in time, it wasn't televised, it was just radio and it was about five hour long race. And so I was lettering that car um, when Parnelli was driving and he won the race that year. And I called Strop and he said, Parnelli's going to be down here in a next Tuesday or something. Won't you bring the model? And so I did. And there's the pictures of him 
comparing the model to the that and over here me faking that I'm doing the lettering of it while Parnelli's watching you know <laughs> and Parnelli's a number of times because Parnelli has a museum and Parnelli's a number of times has where's the where's the Merck <laughs> you know? well it's now in a museum at Salt Lake City you know there's another Parnelli Jones car here that Don helped manufacture. That's the number 40 Turbine Indy car. It really shook up Indy racing until they, you know, outlawed it. But there certainly are some amazing collections here at the museum. Some of them are estate collections like these Cobras. But there's just a ton of really cool stuff to check out here. Now, I, I have to tell you, we've actually uploaded this show from our honeymoon. We, we just got married a week ago. And uh, uh, you know what, what we're up to, don't you? <laughs> That's right, we're at Hot August Nights in Reno playing with cars. This is the Oakland Roadster Show diorama here at the museum. It depicts the Oakland Roadster Show from the 1950s. Really cool show, really advanced custom and hot rod cars. Oh, here's Ed Roth's booth in the show where he used to airbrush t-shirts. And this is the giant eight foot tall trophy of the Oakland Roadster Show. Now this model was built by that crazy guy from the interview episode. Check that out if you haven't seen it. The museum has a lot of cool artifacts from the 1960s, the kind of stuff you would have found in the hobby shops back then. Oh, here's the Ed Big Daddy Roth department, as Rat Fink and some of the other cool products by Ed Roth. Karen and I owe a lot to Mr. Rat Fink. He's the one who introduced us and, hey, now we're married. Well, so that's the National Car Builders that was Museum. Cool. Isn't I, that cool? That little dune buggy was exactly like the one my dad built. Well, he wasn't yeah. big, but I can't imagine. That's just. It'd awesome. be fun to get one of those. I mean, back yeah. in like the 70s, those things were just everywhere. Awesome. But everybody was building dune buggies, oh, especially out of Volkswagens back right. then. It was just the coolest it was just thing what you to did. do. Yeah. Anyway, very cool museum, very cool cars, very cool model cars. Mm -hmm. I was so. impressed. Yeah, that's nifty. Well, if you haven't been to the website, go on over to the website, toymantelevision.com. The movies are all over there. And the website is now undergoing kind of a, a rejuvenation and a redesign. It's going to be a little bit different. So go over there and check for that. And watch for the new website. And of course, keep watching the YouTube channel, Toyman Television, here on YouTube. Right. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, you are a hopeless procrastinator, um, and all you need to do is click on the blue button that's popping in right down here. Really easy. It's really simple, then you're subscribed, so that's a piece of cake. Right. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, <laughs> and we will see you here again in one week with some more massive screwing around. We'll see you then. Bye.